Hello dear students, you are welcome to this class of EDU 240 Mathematics Method. This is our first class and we are going to consider brief history of mathematics and uh, great mathematicians of old and their contribution to the knowledge of mathematics. We consider people like uh, Pythagoras, Archimedes, Plato and their contributions to the present mathematics we learn nowadays. I want to assure you that you are going to get the best from this course as you follow. Thank you. Brief history and contributions of some great mathematicians to the development of mathematics knowledge is what we are considering this first meeting. Like I told you, I am Dr. Santin Sunday Afolabi. Now we consider the early great mathematicians. Before we move forward to these people, what is mathematics by the way? Well, mathematics is a science of number, pattern, sequence, and shapes. If you look around the world, you see mathematics everywhere. Now, let me ask you this question. Is mathematics art or science? Well, it is both science and art. It's art when you consider the utilitarian value of mathematics. I want to ask again, where do you think mathematics takes its source? Mathematics takes its source from man's activities, from nature. We discover mathematics. It's been there. As we learn mathematics today, mathematics started with land measurement for farming by basin of river Nile in Egypt, where farmers measure land for farming purpose. Later, man thought of making tally on walls and rocks to count the number of assets that they have. Writing was on papyrus later on parchment. Paper made from the skin of animals. You see, simple arithmetic of addition and subtraction did not begin until late in the 15th century. Of the 10 Hindu Arabic numera that we have, zero was the last digit to develop. There were different bases of computation in different parts of the world. Now let's consider this man. We start from Pythagoras. He was born in Samos in 580 BC. He discovered the harmonic progression, invented odd and even numbers. The popular Pythagoras theorem, there's the man behind it. The theorem was named after him. That's which we used to resolve the angles and length of sides of right angle triangle in our upper primary, primary school and uh, in the lower junior secondary school and we apply it all through the Pythagoras theory. Not only that, they were the first to use the word parabolas, ellipse, hyperbola. Apotonus borrowed these words in conics. He was the first to discover that the world was a sphere. We also consider Archimedes, who was born in 287 BC at Syracuse. He calculated an approximate value of pi. He invented a method of finding square root. He discovered how to find area of an ellipse. Tales of Miletus, who started deductive geometry and prediction of ellipse in 585 BC. Plato recommended that teaching of mathematics should be with pleasure and amusement. Euclid. He put existing knowledge in mathematics together in 13 volumes called Euclid Elements. Apollonius of Paga contributed to the study of conic session, which stood over 18 centuries before further development. Archimedes, calculation of approximate value of pi, sphere, cylinder, cones, and how to find the area of ellipse. Look at the website shown to you. Visit it and learn more about
other great mathematicians. Now, let's talk briefly about Napai John. He published on rule of logarithm. Farmer Prairie, a professional lawyer, discovered many theorems in analytical geometry and differential calculus. Blaise Pascal was a gifted mathematician who discovered probability, theories of permutations and combinations. Now, consider this assignment. One, think of some mathematicians of the 20th and 21st century in Nigeria. Five of them, consider, search for them, then also five others in other parts of the world. Two, think of some mathematicians in our contemporary days. Five of them in Nigeria and five others in some other parts of the world. What is you about them? What makes them great? Paint them as you like. Be ready to share your findings about them next we meet. See you next lesson. Thank you.